you see here, by increasing the speed burst, the length of the speed burst, we increase our ability to play a longer and longer scale. Now granted, we're just on one string right now. We're going to stay there for a while. Later on in the video, there's a good exercise I have for string crossing. Now there's just one more point I need to make here, and it's about what I call a guide finger. Look at it this way. When you're playing fast like we just did, a fast burst like that, your, hands, your fingers are going too fast to think about alternation or to feel alternation. This is the way I work on it, and this really does help me. Let's say we're playing I am, just like we were, but we're playing slowly. No problem, I can think I am fine. I am, I am, feels great, no problem. I can listen to the tone, everything's under control. Now when we speed up, things change a little bit. Suddenly I reach a point where I can't rationalize I am, I am exchange anymore. So what I do is I just think I, 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 I. And now I'm back to the comfort zone again. Now you can, you can make the speed burst itself a comfort zone the way I did it, and it's actually become fairly easy for me. And this is exactly what helped me, is thinking about this guide finger. Just feeling the one finger, I, 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 or it might not be I. Whatever finger you establish as the downbeat, let's say, that's going to be your guide finger. You're going to reach a point where you're going too fast to think of alternation. So experiment with that. Try it. Use your guide finger or the finger that's playing on the downbeat, and just think of that finger. Boom, 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 boom. And then the empty space in the middle of those beats gets filled in by the other finger. It sounds probably like an abstract idea, but it really is a very simple idea. Like I say, it's worked fine for me and other people I know. When you go fast, in, like in the speed burst we just did, you're not only going a little too fast to rationalize the alternation, you're going a little too fast to also rationalize uh, suddenly your, your uh, equality of tone and articulation, etc. So at that speed, you're going to have to adjust with your ear. Let your ear do the adjusting. Your ear tells you what's off here. Is it unbalanced? Is one finger louder than the other, etc.? And you develop the habit of just adjusting on the spot. Again, now this, you're going to have, you're going to find your limit, and there's going to be a point where you're not going to be able to adjust. That means it's too fast for you right now. Go back to the speed where you can adjust and you do have some control. Again, the best way to do that is incorporating speed bursts. Now we have to talk about synchronization because we're going to be adding our left hand to what we're doing. We can't just play scales open string all the time. That would be great. wouldn't sound very good. Synchronization is just as it implies. We're going to sync up our left hand finger with our plucking right hand finger. They have to play at exactly the same time. So the way I think of it is this, a simple little motto. Whenever the left hand goes down, the right hand's got to pluck it. So et cetera, et cetera. We're going to get into an exercise now that will um, well, it'll demonstrate this a little further. Now here, as you follow me, don't forget, we're going to work on synchronization, but I want you to keep good right hand technique. All right, listen to your tone, make sure all the notes are even. Here we go, let's try it. You see it up on your screen, and let's just do the first bar itself a couple of times before we get into the 16th notes. Here we go. I'm going to talk as I play here a little bit. Watch me. Notice, because you can see both of my hands, that both fingers are going down at the same time. As soon as my left hand finger goes down, I pluck the note. I'll try to exaggerate a little bit for you here. 
They're like little pistons. They work absolutely in coordination with, you, with each other. And I have to say it's a little hard to talk and play at the same time. I'll do my best. Let's speed it up a little bit. Feel the synchronization. exercise. Repeat the first bar and we'll go on to the 16th notes. Here we go. One, two, ready, play. Mm -hmm. 